Hello and welcome to Closing Time. Please give it up for your host, AJ Tierney. <laughs> for coming out to the season finale of Closing Time. We have got a great show for you tonight. We've got the hosts of the 37th Annual Evie Awards here. Yeah. Yeah. And Thailand's Moana, Myra Malloy is here. <laughs> All that and more coming up on this episode of Closing Time. But first, let's take a look at the news. A new internet craze known as the condom challenge has American teens snorting condoms through their noses and pulling them out of their mouths. In related news, condom companies are thrilled to be reaching a whole new demographic, virgins. <laughs> Tesla Motors uh, stock prices took a hit this week after CEO Elon Musk sent out an April Fool's Day tweet claiming that the company had gone, quote, totally bankrupt. Wow, now my prank about my grandma's surgery doesn't look too bad, does it, Mom? <laughs> the man who exposed Cam Cambridge uh, Analytica for stealing Facebook user information has recently said that the company also created a software to identify Republican voters prior to the 2016 election. The software worked by identifying anyone who had liked the Facebook page for Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> in other Facebook news, Playboy recently deleted their account. In a related story, 43 million elderly men have also deleted their Facebook accounts. <laughs> at, least, at least some good has come of this, right? That's true. <laughs> no jokes here, just truth. At a rally, actress and gubernatorial uh, uh, candidate Cynthia Nixon told her voters that she is so much more than an actor. She went on to urge everyone at the event to check out her special talent section of her acting resume, which include juggling, improv, and light tap. <laughs> Just light tap, though. <laughs> like, she took one class. <laughs> Taylor Swift made a surprise appearance at a Nashville cafe on Sunday. She then made a surprise appearance at a bank, a surprise appearance at a Target, and then a surprise appearance at her own house. Taylor Swift, everybody, always full of surprises. <laughs> This week, a teen traded his Snapchat handle at Carnival Cruise for a free cruise from the company, which is why I recently changed my Snapchat handle to at Subway Sandwich in hopes a similar situation will happen to me. <laughs> Again, no jokes, all truth. <laughs> Recent reports confirm that Russian agents are pretending to be furries on Tumblr. Okay. Interesting. Newsflash, Nitka. When you post on furry forums every day, use furry dating apps, and own a big boned wolf costume that you regularly have sex in, it's not pretending anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for the news. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Closing Time. You guys, finals are right around the corner and I have already seen way too many of my classmates getting way too stressed out. Way more than they need to be, guys, right? Are you serious? Are you not stressed out? No. <laughs> Joe, are you serious? This is Emerson College. <laughs> okay, that's, that's easy for you to say you're a comedy major. Don't you come for me and my comedy major friends, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, AJ. I just, I'm stressed. I've got like a big essay, my media crit class due tomorrow. I'm, I'm just not even sure what to write about yet. Oh, wow. It must be hard to be a VMA. Joe, tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> okay, very funny comedy major. What do mm. you have to do for your final? You got a, like a diorama about the new Roseanne set? <laughs> Honestly, I might steal that. But actually, in all realness, my assignment is our next segment, How to Succeed at Emerson Without Really Trying. <laughs> Step one, just show up. 
Honestly, guys, like 95% of every Emerson class is based solely on attendance. Drag your sleepy carcass there, or your grade will go down by a whole letter. Oh, man, I've been missing classes all week just to do homework. Joe, come on, are you serious? Hey, I'm trying to be a good student. All right, next, stop trying to be a good student and start trying to be an okay artist. That is what Emerson is all about, right, guys? <laughs> All right, step number two is all about canvas discussions. Ugh, those are the worst. <laughs> Joe, all you have to do is look at the first person's response and then just paraphrase it. But I always submit the first, oh, huh. <laughs> huh. All right, and the next tip is to just ask for an extension. That can't work. Oh, it works. All you need to do is rally the entire classroom, get everyone on board. Then you go to the class kiss up and get them to ask the professor. Okay, but that's me. Well, there you go. <laughs> the professors at this school are extremely weak of will. You need an extension? Compliment their shoes. Need some extra credit? Say you loved their perspective on the healthcare system in the U.S. Yeah, but what about like creative projects? Like most of my assignments are short stories, films, you know. Okay, easy. Make anything you forgot to do as interpretive as possible. That short story, write it from the perspective of air. Your professor will eat it up, okay? That short film, just go to the common and film something about the graveyard. If that doesn't work, you can always just take something you made for another class and then just add a line that references your last class. Oh, okay, I've done that. Awesome. At least you're learning something. <laughs> okay, but what about, like, performance stuff, you know? There's no way you can just fake your way through a monologue. Don't you need to, like, take it into your body and feel the words or whatever? Well, ideally, yes, I'm an artist, but I bet I could still do it. You just have to mask it with so much emotion that nobody can tell you don't know the words. Really? Yeah, it's that easy. Okay, then why don't you try this monologue from The Glass Menagerie? All right. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> count you down. Five seconds, okay? Okay. Memra, five, mm -hmm. four, three, mm -hmm. two, why? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> 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 wow. 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 That was really. Oh, wow. Impressive. Thank you. Would you give me an A? I think I'd have to. Yeah, yeah you would. Uh, awesome. That has been How to Succeed at Emerson Without Really Trying. We'll be right back with the hosts of the 37th Annual Evie Award. So stick around. <laughs> Closing time. Our first guests tonight are three of the hosts of Evie's 37, Julia Getz, Moses Small, and Lauren Raff. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for having us. I'm still speechless after that monologue, honestly. Me too. Oh. I cannot speak at all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, hopefully that's not true because I have so many questions. It's um, never be. I'll try. All right, well, so Julia Moses, you guys are hosting The Majestic Show, yes. which is on May 11th. Yes. Um, but Lauren, your show is next week in the gala. Yes! April 15th. <laughs> yes! It's so exciting. Yes, it's next Sunday. That is so soon. How are you feeling, Lauren? I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I want to go. Mm. <laughs> I do, too. Emmys.org <laughs> slash tickets. Buy them now, everyone. Buy them now and go. Buy yeah. them right now. It's going to be so good. Yes. <laughs> What makes your two individual shows, The Gala and The Majestic Show, different um, from both each other and then also years past shows? Great question. So, we, okay, we'll like piggyback. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll, yes. we'll bounce off each other a I'll scaffold mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So, yeah, so basically the gala is really just like a dinner party. Yeah, it's a fancy dinner party. Ooh. We all sit down at the tables and we eat food together, we laugh and That's we, the thing, we get there's awards. Food. There's food. Do there's you guys have food? food? 
We want food. We, I'm, I'm gonna have we food. want food. I'm going to have food. I don't know about other people. Yes, yes. Okay. I asked for all my dresses to have pockets so I can just <laughs> sneak little crumbs in there. Um, but, but yeah, so the, there are a lot of like writing, literature, and publishing awards at the gala, gotcha. um, some other like niche awards, and then there are the supporting. The supporting um, female actress and supporting male actress. So come out for <laughs> all of those. And support all. Of oh, <laughs> no small parts. No, no small, small parts. Small parts. So and true. we're we're excited and, too because yeah. we're doing a couple things differently than last year. Oh. We're we're gonna get real weird this year. That was one of our goals. And this year we're gonna have funky. a couple. Funky. Um, funky. We're gonna get funky. We're gonna get weird. Whatever my mom wants to call it this week. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna she have making a, the decisions? She <laughs> makes she makes it for me exactly. Oh, yeah, she calls the shots. We we want to buy her. And then once we get approval from her, I'm actually doing some rap performances too. And we're gonna oh, have wow. that be a very brand new part of the show, first time. And we're yeah. very excited about that. There's some, yeah, really fun things about the Majestic this year. That is awesome. Lauren, uh, your co-host couldn't make it, unfortunately, tonight. But uh, could you maybe tell the audience, what is your favorite part of Jordan Mould? Oh. Uh. Um, probably, like, his beard. And <laughs> the way it moves when he talks. And just, like, his, like, comforting, just low-key, mm. supporting nature. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can say that he doesn't disagree with. So. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's a great so agreeable. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a sweet man. Uh, Julia Moses, what is it like working with each other? Oh, it's pretty dreamy. It's, great. it's pretty dreamy, it's great. AJ. <laughs> Pretty dreamy. Uh, we, had, we had a couple announcements. We were going to save it. Well, do you want to do I'll let you. Listen, let you. we're kind of married at this point. Oh. Oh. We're just a little married, though. We're in the honeymoon phase of our yeah. friendship. Yeah. Uh, it's been so much fun, though, great. working together. Yeah. It's been a blast. And we're getting ready. Stay tuned on the vicious breakup we have planned. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to get married maybe on the show, I would love to marry you. Can, okay, can, <laughs> I, if I, I don't want to impose, can, yeah. can, you, can I ask you to marry us? I would love to. <laughs> we got it now. I don't know if we have, we're going to do it really quickly. Yeah. Do you, Lauren, your fingers yeah. are Make them yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Improv. <laughs> teamwork. Do you, Julia Getz, take Moses Small to be your Husband. Waffly. Waffly. Yeah. Waffles. Waffles. Yes. Waffles? No. Yes. <laughs> Waffles yes. are there. Yes. And then what you you as well? Waffles do Did I do wife? that right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Let's it happens here live on closing time, everyone. All right. Jordan would be clapping Jordan for us. Jordan would be clapping for us. He would love it. He wouldn't he would say no it. to this. <laughs> no. Right. No, no. <laughs> Never. Uh, if I know a man who yes and, that's Jordan Wolf. Oh, um, so you guys have been preparing for the show all year. What has that been like? It's been so exciting because we've had to be very secretive about mm. it. Um, I remember when we like found out that we were being honored with this position, mm -hmm. um, we had to be very hush-hush. Um, but it's been so much fun, like meeting with Max, who's doing music, and I mean, the writers are all just so good. Um, it's been a blast working on the whole thing. And, yeah, Samantha yeah. Yates, one of the Closing Time writers, came mm. up to me on the street, and I had no idea what she was talking about, and she <laughs> pulled me aside and told me about the Effie's Gala, and I was so excited about it. That is awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, guys, would you like to play a little game? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. all right. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm sure you've been too busy lately to binge watch Netflix, but there have been a lot of new releases lately. Yeah, it seems like every time I log on, there's just a new Netflix original. Yep. Yeah, it's true. So for this game, we're going to give you guys some um, recommendations on what to binge watch once this Evie's craziness dies down. Thank you. Here's the catch, though. Need it. <laughs> some of these Netflix shows are not real. They're fake. So you're going to look at the monitor, read the title of the movie or television series, and then guess whether it's real or fake. You guys got it? Yes. Let's go. All right, let's start. Okay. All right. Okay, seven mm. seconds. Till what? <laughs> I don't know. It, it seems automatically I'm like, it's a thriller, right? Like right, it's right, real. right. Okay. Throw if it's real. I but then again, that. most people who make Netflix shows are pretty weird. I don't know if they're going to take us through some tame like seven seconds. Seven seconds. End of the worldy. Yeah. End of the, oh, that's that's in. Apocalyptic. <laughs> Apocalyptic. <laughs> that's in. 
listen, I don't trust it, and I also don't trust this font. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's fake. No. I think it's fake. I'm with Julia. I'm gonna say it's, it's fake. It's too vague. Yeah, it's I too agree. Vague. Yeah. It's, all right, let's see. Okay. All right. What? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. What is what she is looking even at? about? It's just the Statue of Liberty. Statue it's about oh, yeah. the, the seven seconds of snowfall that happened and created this. Yeah, that is so. That's. <laughs> yeah. I can't. All right, next. Let's move on. Okay. Hello. Hello, misery. misery. Ooh, that sounds more like an Emerson Real? film. Real? Yeah. Yeah. That, sounds like an Emerson. that sounds like one of the like nominated films. For yes. Yeah. 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 Hello, misery. Hello, misery. And misery is, hello, is a Dolly's sister. Yeah. Yeah. It's a like Hello Dolly. It's, it's, hello. it's Misery by Kathy Bates. <laughs> yes. and hello Dolly. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's real. You think I it's think real? I think it's real. I feel like it's a different <laughs> adjective than misery. <laughs> if no <laughs> description. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't think it's hello misery. It's definitely hello something yes. else. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I just. No, I can't get on board. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm say yes. Think I, I have a little faith in this okay. one. Oh my gosh. Take, I think, take yeah. Julia's side. Moses is <laughs> taking my side. <laughs> All right, well, let's that. see. Ah! Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. I love this game. Let's keep going. Okay, <laughs> next <ahead>. up. Kinji <laughs> Lawrence, Ooh. extra spicy. Come on. Mm. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> And if, I don't think this is real, but if it were, what are we thinking? Yes. Like, what's the genre? What's the story here? Hmm. Benji Lawrence, a total nerd, but oh. secretly cute. Oh. Extra so we're thinking rom-com or a comedy. Definitely a, a comedy. A comedy. Oh, mm. yeah. What if he works at like um, a food restaurant he and his job is spices? Yes, his job is spices. Like he's like part of, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cook. a line cook and he just comes around with cardamom. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm going to go a different This is a documentary about spice section. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see. Maybe Can it's we like see chef's if it's table. Really big? Mm -hmm. That's, oh, that's just right. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good writing, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you really got us. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> Devil no. Man oh. Cry Baby. Totally real. Yeah, I bet. this feels real. This feels like Why? a Quentin Tarantino thing. <laughs> that's right. Or something. Covered in blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't like don't the name. I, I just don't like the name, but that's Yeah, I, I think someone <laughs> took like Devil May Care and then just <laughs> Devil Man Cry <laughs> Baby. But, Maybe it is. I'm going to say it is a real show. I'm just biased and say I hate that. If it were a real show, <laughs> nah. like, what would the premise be? What is the genre? Devil Man Cry, Mur baby. Murder. Mm. Like Pretty Little Liars. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, so I like a high that. school, but murder. <laughs> yes. Like, it's like teen drama. Like, who am I going to sleep with? But yeah, also, it's like, Debbie's dead. Yes. 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 <laughs> and murder. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. that's such a genre. It goes in the burn book, but yeah. it's like mm. the kill book. The kill it's like the kill bill. Yeah. yeah. The kill bill. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Is it real or is it fake? Yes! Really? Oh, I want to watch it. <laughs> I don't. Wait, news okay. introduction. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. Oh, That's the title. Movie. Next okay. up, let's go. Right. The oh, end of yeah. the I know this could be true. I think it's like MILF. I yeah. think MAMF is like MILF. I can't yes. get on board with that. I, I'm i team it's not real. I I just, uh, whatever AJ, the A's I support is. you and I trust you Thank and I'm you. on your side. Thank yes. you. I, I, think it, I think it is real. I All just right, think that see. the A stands for something different. Mm. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you, Lauren. I really thought. OJ, the animated series. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. There's no way. Are we talking with? The what if. What if? Are you, no. You're gonna say the Jay Z? Yo, I, I was about to say OJ Simpson. I oh. don't think that's the best cartoon idea necessarily. <laughs> so I'm gonna no. go with fake on this one. It would be Not like um, it would be like the Brickle Bear. Like it would be like for adults. Yes. Oh. Yes. Whatever. Like whatever family guy. Yeah. Like family if it were guy. a thing. But dear God, it shouldn't. No, be. it shouldn't be. Let's no. shake on fake. Yeah. Fake. Let's go with fake. Uh, fake. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. 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 We got it. Yeah, we got one. Awesome. Wow. This is the most gratification I've gotten in a long Somebody time. Somebody feed Phil. I hope this is real, but I don't think it is. Do we think Phil is an animal or a person? I think it's a person. I hope it's a person. I'm even more I mean, we're all animals. And he just case, like can't I mean. feed himself. Like he's just like, I need yeah. someone to feed me. I don't That's know. right. Maybe he's a man baby. He lives oh. in his mom's basement, baby. but then his mom died, right? So yes. then it's like, who's yeah. gonna feed him? His mom's dead. Yeah. Right. And no one's like, yeah. his dad can't do it. But he's like he's 42. Like, yeah, he's not like a child. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's real. Yeah, it's real. Do right. you think, yeah. Yeah! Wow. Oh, look at his face! Oh, wait, I oh, man, saw this, is... actually, the one time I went on Netflix recently. <laughs> I did, but wait, I forgot. Really? Mm. All right, 
Uh, wow, great. Thank you guys so much for playing. <laughs> Thank this you. This has been so fun. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you Thank for you having, having us. us. <laughs> oh. uh, really, this has been so fun. Here. It's been amazing. <laughs> You can catch Lauren with Jordan Wold at the Evie's Gala on April 15th. Woo! Yeah. Get your tickets! And Moses and Julia at the Evie's Majestic Show on May 11th. Get your tickets right now, guys. We will be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back to the season finale of Closing Time. This season has been such a blast and it wouldn't have been possible without our writers. Here's three of them now. Please welcome Aaron Axelrod, Joe Gleason, and Maggie McNulty. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course. All of this. You wrote so many funny jokes. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about some funny topics in the news today. Yes. Have you guys heard this theory that Leah Michelle of Glee, uh, in case you were wondering, I can't read? Yes, yes, that's something I'm very familiar with because I am extremely suscept susceptible to like any conspiracy. Like I mm. woke up the other day and I was like, Avril Lavigne is still dead. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Like, I feel like watching Glee, you have to know that she can't read. <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? What is it about her performance in Glee that makes you think she can't read? So, like, you know how you were doing that monologue where you were like, what? Yeah. Hers was like, I want to be a star, but I live in Ohio. And that was, like, her only thing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And yeah. then she just sang. Yeah. She's just saying stuff that's true about yeah. herself. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. What's the big deal if she can't read, you know? Wow, that's I so think it's just, <laughs> You know, I think there yeah. should be more actors in Hollywood and, and actresses who just can't read at all. Yeah. I think it would just make everything much better. And actresses, for sure. And actresses. <laughs> and actresses, for sure. Hey, I know, I know one thing Leah Michelle did read. The epitaph on Cory Monteith's yeah. gravestone. That's <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> wow. That was cold as ice. Is it that's too soon? I don't know how long you're supposed to wait to five make years, Five years, five years. Has it been five years? Okay. It's, it's been, been five years? I believe that's a 2011 story. But also that seems like after Glee. I don't, I 2011 don't know. 2011 would be seven years. Glee started in 2000. also like peak Glee. <laughs> We're going to spend the rest of our writers panel <laughs> deciding the when Corey Hansi died. The quarterback episode where they're like do the funeral season four. So if someone can... Shut yeah, up. Someone, just, someone look it up. We'll move on. We'll move on. Um, also, Abby Lee Miller just got out of prison. What's everyone's? I, Maggie, I feel like you strike me as a person who watched Dance Moms. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that is completely yeah. accurate. So that's like my favorite show of probably all time. Okay. And I just feel like safer knowing that Abby Lee is back on the streets. Like, oh. I. So also like her social media presence throughout her prison time was. Excellent. Like, I don't know anyone who has a better social media presence than her. You're allowed to have a social media presence in prison? She has someone doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. She, like, she called was, like, them and we're like, this is what I want to tweet today. Yeah, one of the, <laughs> yeah, one of the Dance Moms girls got caught vaping, and she's, like, 13. Yeah. And um, Abby, and she's, like, a spokesperson for Justice. Gotcha. And Abby Lee tweeted, oh, does Justice sell vapes now? And, of course, I retweeted that. But <laughs> that was from when she was Savage. Mm -hmm. Iconic. Do, Two means. Send her back. Send her back. <laughs> Do we Send not strike back. you as Dance Moms fans? Are you? I, honestly, no. it could go either way. No, it's a big no. <laughs> it's a big no? It's a lot of, isn't it a lot? Don't they, like, hit the kids or something with the shoes and such? <laughs> they don't like Maggie, do they away. hit the kids with the shoes? Um, one time a chair was thrown, but like okay. it didn't hit the, the kids. Okay, oh. but to I be wish fair, it did. they flip <laughs> tables on Real yeah. Housewives in New Jersey. Yeah. You know, like it's just, it's the reality TV gig, mm. yeah. you know? Yeah. All right, uh, our last story. Walmart has this yodeling boy. Mm. He's going viral. I haven't seen the video. I've been preparing for tonight to watch it because we have it here. And I'm going to watch it live with you all. Are you guys excited? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So can we play that video? Y yes. Joe, play it. <laughs> Joe. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
why I really was waiting for it to be something like dirty. It's so wholesome. It's so sweet. It's just a boy who loves his craft. I like how yodeling, yodeling is apparently just bad singing. It's just singing with How like dare voice you? That was a religious experience. That was <laughs> terrible. That was awesome. And what, what does Walmart have to do with this? Walmart he could have been needs more Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong stance that just came out of me. I didn't even know I had that stance, guys. I don't even. Wow, I'm sorry, but yeah, I don't know. Stand by. <laughs> my what, my what favorite part of the video is this that like old woman standing behind him just watching like this <laughs> the whole time and like she doesn't say anything do you think she's and, in cahoots with him or yeah just i a... want her to be like the breakout star of mm. this like new meme mm. that would be great yeah. no i'm great. a fan i'm a fan of any boy who has the gusto to sing in public love mm. it um <laughs> I love any boy who wears a little bandana around his neck like oh, a tie. So good. Forget about it. Um, and I think that we should send the Walmart boy to prison. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much for being here, you guys. I am really glad that you get to bear witness to my big announcement. <clears throat> Tonight, on the season finale of Closing Time, I, AJ Tierney, am announcing that I am running for office. I think there's a lot of things that need changing in this world, and I'm the one to do it. I've prepared a brief video message that I would like to share with you guys right now, so take a look. The earth is my home. I've never lived anywhere else. When I grew up here, it was just me and six billion other people living on a 5.49 times 10 to the 15th power feet squared hunk of rock. The world is where I was raised and where I would raise my kids. But you know, my value as a person is not derived by my ability to bear children. I am a proud public school graduate and a less proud undergrad at Boston's 29th best college in terms of drug safety. I was given chances I just don't see for most Earth children these days. The United Nations is letting us down. More people die on Earth than any other planet in the galaxy. 100% of children in third world countries are living in third world countries. Imagine the poorest person you can think of. That guy lives on Earth. We are home to things like murder, disease, and Kirstie Alley. How did we let this happen? I love Earth. I never wanted to live anywhere else. But something has to change. We need to consolidate all governance under one body, one person. Me, AJ Tierney, host of Closing Time. I want to work again on ending mass incarceration, improving universal health care, and getting more board bucks for our RAs. We are sick of politicians who are not me, or do not agree with me, or don't do things that I like, who care more about headlines and power than they do about me. This is a time to fight for me, so that I can fight for you. Do not resist this sudden global shift. It's fine, don't worry about it. I am AJ Tierney. I am definitely from Earth. And together, I can win this fight. Welcome back. Our next guest is a literal Disney princess. She is the voice of Moana in Thailand. Give it up for Myra Malloy, everybody. <laughs> Myra, thank you so much for being here. Thank this is awesome. I am so starstruck. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got to be Moana in Thailand? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> they called me out of thin air because, like, my number is just like around on the internet. Don't go looking for it. <laughs> but yeah, they called up 
up and they're like, oh, um, it's Disney here on the line. Like, do you want to, like, try out and be Moana? It's like, for what? So, yeah, that's how it They happened. called and asked? That's, like, what, yeah. like, famous people, like, they called, Yeah, I was like, really surprised. I was like, Meryl Streep. <laughs> no, and then I asked them, like, how did you find me? And they were like, oh, yeah, we just went to Google and searched, like, Thai singer. And I was like, thank you, Google. <laughs> thank you. Wow. That is, that is awesome. How long have you known that you've wanted to be a singer? Um, probably since I was a baby. I know that's super cliche, but. Yeah. You just came out and just... I just came out and started singing. My dad said I sound like a duck, a beautiful duck, just quacking. <laughs> a beautiful duck. So I was like, this is, this is my path. <laughs> Aw, that is so sweet. Did your life change at all after you voiced Moana? Like, are you famous now, um, do you feel? Uh, no. No? No, the only thing that, like, made me feel, like, super, like, famous was they flew me business class for the press release thing, and um, I got so drunk. <laughs> and, it was, and I like, they were like, you can like have any food you want on the menu. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Like, when are like the food times? And they're like, any time you want. And I was like, any time you want. I thought I, I made a big hosting this show, and I don't get food at all. <laughs> that's amazing. So yeah. Mm. That is so cool. All right, this is the big question. Okay. And I feel like we'll probably have to have a little conversation about it. Who is your favorite Disney princess? I have to say Moana, right? <laughs> okay. But also, like, okay, Moana, yeah. obviously. But Rock and Rock. It's a tie between, oh, God, Mulan mm. and Belle. I'm sorry. Mm. I had to. Those yeah. are good answers. Those are good, respectable <laughs> answers. It was tough. What about you, Joe? Who's your favorite Disney princess? Um, I would say Mulan as well, actually. Really? Yeah. Her, her struggle is, is so powerful. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no it is, that's not even funny, that's true. Yeah. Mulan, I, I love Mulan, I love Pocahontas, Ariel was my favorite as a kid, but true. now I feel like I'm in a Pocahontas phase of my life. I sometimes just watch that movie. No, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Um, so you're studying songwriting at yes. Berkeley. Yes. Uh, when did you know you wanted to pursue that? Um, Honestly, like probably like a semester in, I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But my friends are writing songs, and maybe I should try. That's so awesome. yeah, it was totally like last minute. Like, oh, I think this is it. Like, I want to write a song. So I did. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Uh, we've got to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have a very special performance from Myra Malloy. <laughs> Debuting her brand new song, Other Love, this is Myra Malloy. Hold me back down when your decisions don't comply with promises that you make. hand to hold a heart of gold but you denied it don't look the other way my heart was never yours to break i'm blind when love has taken over my mind i won't hesitate to call you out on your mistake i wonder why you never tried to harder cause you gave it up gave it up gave it up said you've had enough had enough had enough I said better luck better luck better luck with some other love other love other love Does it feel right when you're with her? Kissed her goodnight, didn't think twice that it would kill me. Don't you feel like you have sinned? Full of 
of regret Were you upset or ever sorry? Don't try to compensate for all the pain Cause it's too late to turn back time And hit rewind, aren't you ashamed? I won't hesitate to call you out on your mistake I now know why you always lied to me Cause you gave it up, gave it up, gave it up Said you've had enough, had enough, had enough I said better luck, better luck, better luck With some of love, of love, of love With some of love, of love Cause you gave it up, gave it up, gave it up Said you've had enough, had enough, had enough I said better luck, better luck, better luck With some of love, of love, of love With some of love, of love Love. So beautiful. Thank you, so you are so much. talented. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight and for an awesome season. Shout out to the Evie's host, Myra Malloy, and as always, my lovely co host, Joe. Thank you to the crew and the producers. We love you. That is a wrap on closing time. Good night. <laughs> Five years old A princess in a tower Had been rescued by the power Of love Dreams of that story Stayed with me Retold A prince in denim jeans Had me wrapped around the fraying sea I want to my star here to say Stories have betrayed me Those starry eyes and butterflies will fade away Some people know I've changed But standing here it feels almost the same The river flows on me wandering who drowned and who was saved leaves me wandering who drowned and who was saved i heard a story that you were on your own always sit in a bar with your arms around another Tears dripped in the stream and the current washed away the dreams of ice. The little eyes I once surmised are here to say stories have betrayed me. Those starry eyes and butterflies will fade away. Some people know. Who drowned and who was saved Leaves me wondering
dream.